Hello, my name is Ayu Dwi, and I am from Indonesia. Notice who doesn't know about Indonesia. I'm sure that all of you already know about this country, which is also commonly called as Pulau Seribu Pulau or Island of a Thousand Islands. This video will invite you to know more about Indonesia. Indonesia is a country in Southeast Asia and Oceania between the Indian and Pacific Ocean. DKI Jakarta or in Indonesia daerah khusus ibu kota Jakarta is the national capital and the largest city in Indonesia. Jakarta is the only city in Indonesia that has provincial level stages. Jakarta was once known by several names including Sunda Kelapa, Jayakarta, and Batavia. Jakarta is located in the north of Java Island at the mouth of Chiliwu, Jakarta Bay. Jakarta is located in the lowlands at an average altitude of 8 meters above the sea level. This has caused infrequent flood in Jakarta. South of Jakarta is a mountainous area with high rainfall. Jakarta is paced by 13 rivers which all lead to Jakarta Bay. The most important river is Chiliwung, which divides the city in two areas. The east and the south Jakarta is bordered by uh, the province of West Java and to the west, west is bordered by the province of Banten. Jakarta has an area of approximately 664.01 km square with a population of around 10 million and 500,000 people in 2019. As a center of business, politics, and culture, Jakarta is the home to the headquarters of state-owned enterprises, private companies, and foreign companies. Jakarta is served by two airports, namely Soekarno-Hatta Airport and Halim Perdana Kusuma Airport, as well as three seaports at Tanjung Priok, Sunda Kelapa, and Ancol. Generally, Jakarta has hot and dry temperature and a tropical climate. Jakarta religious composition was distributed over Islam uh, uh, 83.43%, Protestant 8.63%, uh, Catholic uh, 4%, Bud Buddhism 3.74% and the last one is Hinduism, 0.19%. Uh, As the capital of Indonesia, Jakarta is melting point of culture of all ethnic groups of the country to Betawi people are considered as a, an in original community of Jakarta the culture of the city represents many languages and ethnic groups support differences in regard to religion, tradition, and uh, linguistics rather than any single and dominant culture. There are many things about Jakarta that should be known by foreign people. Firstly, there is an um, art and festival uh, activity which is uh, Ondel Ondel, often used as a symbol of Betawi culture, art and culture, festival and exhibition. Ondel Ondel is a large puppet figure featured in Betawi folk performance. Ondel Ondel is an icon of Jakarta. Ondel Ondel are utilized for lightening up festival or for welcoming guests of honor, usually in pair. Ondel Ondel is one of a few Indonesian folk performance 
that has survived modernization and it is still being regularly performed. The musical uh, accompaniment for the Ondel Ondel performance uh, varies with real region, occasion, and groups of performance. Uh, beside that, uh, Jakarta also has many festivals that should be done, such as uh, Jakarta International Documentary and Experimental Film Festival, Jakarta International Film Festival, Jakarta Warehouse Project, Jakarta Fashion Week, Jakarta Fashion and Food Festival, Jakarta Fall, Jakarta Night Festival, Kota Tua Creative Festival, Indonesia International Book Fair, Indonesia Creative Product and Jakarta Art and Craft Exhibition. The Art of Jakarta is a contemporary art fair which is uh, held in annually. Secondly is the cuisine. All varieties of Indonesian cuisine have a prison in Jakarta. The local cuisine is Betawi cuisine, which reflects various foreign culinary traditions. One of the most popular local dishes of Betawi cuisine is Soto Betawi, which is prepared from chunks of beef and offal in rich and spicy cow's milk or coconut milk broth. Other popular Betawi dishes include soto kaki, nasi uduk, kerak telur, nasi ulam, asinan, ketoprak, rujak, gado-gado Betawi, and many more. And the thirdly is about museum. Jakarta has a 100 uh, 42 museum, uh, 124 of them are clustered around the central Jakarta's Merdeka Square area, Kota Tua Jakarta, and Taman Mini Indonesia Indah. The Kota Tua contains museum in former institutional building of colonial Batavia, including Jakarta History Museum, Wayang Museum and many more of that museum. According to the statistical agency, DKI Jakarta province has an area of 662.33 square kilometers, which is divided into six administrative cities or district. They are firstly as uh, Kepula Kepulauan Seribu Regency. Uh, Kepulauan Seribu is the only regency in DKI Jakarta province. This archipelago is located in the Java Sea, north of the Jakarta area on the island of Java. It is the smallest administrative area of Jakarta, with only two sub-districts and six sub-district and an area of 8.7 square kilometers. Kepulauan Seribu has many tourism destinations. Some of them are Lovebirds, Virgin Sand Beach, Bintang Beach, Tidung Kecil Island, Silver Island Beach, Sound Sunset, Bright Bridge, and many more. Firstly, there is a Pasir Perawan Beach, or in English as Virgin Sand Beach. Uh, this tourist spot really hits and become the main tourism in the Kepulauan Seribu, because this beach has extraordinary view and attraction. The Virgin Sand Beach has a succeed in making millions of tourists fall in fall in love with its charm. Virgin Sand Beach is a tourist icon of Pari Island. This beach is a favorite among a domestic and foreign traveler. This beach with 
with clean white sand along the shoreline and the perfect for you uh, beach lover would want to a uh, romantic beach atmosphere on this beach there is also culinary tour offer with a fairly complete seafood menu and the second one uh, there uh, Kepulauan Seribu also has Saung Sunset this uh, tourist spot is really a recommendation for those who like sunset especially for those who like uh, hunting activity in the sunset uh, time because of its position on the western headland of Tidung Island this place is a favorite place to get the right photo angel at sunset Saung Sunset is also a suitable place for those who want to relax uh, while enjoying the beach atmosphere here you can also enjoy your fresh young coconut uh, that are picked straight from the tree or natively coconut island the second one is west jakarta city west jakarta is the area with the second largest population in dki jakarta province this then city a figure as the highest in all provinces. Uh, the city government center is held in Kembangan. West Jakarta City has many tourist destinations. Some of them are West Jakarta Mini Park, Mini Water Park, Kota Tua of Jakarta, Fatahilah Museum, Bank Indonesia Museum, Wayang Museum, Toko Merah, and many more. Firstly, West Jakarta City has Kota Tua. In the Kota Tua, you can feel a unique atmosphere like in the past because in the Kota Tua area, very Dutch heritage buildings are still original and have not changed. Uh, to, be, to be able to enjoy the beauty of the, the old city destination, I mean uh, the Kota Tua destination, Tourists can uh, rent sepeda hotel to get around uh, the Kota Tua while taking pictures. The the er, er, architectural beauty beauty of the buildings in Kota Tua is a paradise for photography lovers. In addition, uh, there is also Wayang Museum in West Jakarta. This museum has various types of wayang collection, which is around 6,000 puppets. Uh, the types of puppets found in this museum include wayang kulit, wayang golek, wayang mainan, wayang klitik, and wayang topeng. Various puppet collection and the wayang museum come from various region in Indonesia. Uniquely, each type of puppet has an interesting historical story. This museum attracts a lot of tourists uh, just to visit and see culture in West Jakarta. The third one is Central Jakarta City. Central Jakarta is the location where the center of government of the Republic Indonesia and the center of government of the DKI Jakarta province are located. It is a city. Uh, it is in this city that the presidential palace, which is a symbol of a uh, center of the country's government stand. Meanwhile, government activity for the city of central Jakarta were carried out in Menteng. Jakarta Pusat has many tourist destinations. Firstly, it has Monument National or Monas. Monas is an icon of the city of Jakarta which is crowded uh, with tourists. Monas is a monument with a hike of 132 meters 
with a flame made by coal at the top located in Medan Merdeka Square Central Jakarta you can uh, do a lot of activities and this place including enjoying the view of the top of the Monas visiting a museum containing dioramas seeing Indonesia historical relief listening to the proclamation recordings and picnicking and cycling and many more in addition Jakarta Central Jakarta or Jakarta Pusat also has Pasar Baru Pasar Baru is a um, trading area apart from being the oldest shopping center in Jakarta Pasar Baru has become a tourist spot in Central Jakarta or Jakarta Pusat which is in fight in visited by many tourists both from Indonesia and foreign uh, these tourists uh, come to Pasar Baru with the aim of shopping uh, commonly uh, the shop in Pasar Baru uh, have the shape of building in Europe and China the goods sold here can be purchased at low price and there are many choices in there Fort One is South Jakarta city. South Jakarta is a concentration of development during the Dutch rule after the VOC era ended. The city administration center is held in Kebayoran Baru. South Jakarta city has many tourist destinations. Some of them are Setu Babakan, Pondok Indah Water Park, Ayodhya Water Park, Langsat Wat Park, Mataram Park, and many more. Firstly, it has Ragunan Zoo. Ragunan Zoo is the oldest zoo in Indonesia which was built in 1864. Ragunan has a very complete collection of animals in Indonesia where 19% of the animals are native to Indonesia. Uh, this tourist object is also the largest primate conservation center in the world. Apart from animals, this zoo also has a collection of shady trees so that the zoo's atmosphere is more beautiful and cool. With very cheap ticket prices, many foreign and local visitors have chosen Ragunan Zoo as one of the favorite tourist destinations that must be visited while on vacation. Uh, in addition, South Jakarta also has Kemang Food Festival. Kemang Food Festival can be a filling tourist destination for tourists. At this location, you can enjoy a variety of culinary offering uh, that are very delicious along the street or mostly called as uh, street food this festival is generally held from 5 o'clock p.m. 5 p.m. to uh, 12 o'clock or 24 p.m. you can eat a delicious menu while enjoying entertaining live music the last one is North Jakarta City North Jakarta is the center of growth in Jakarta in the past this area is the second largest after East Jakarta government administration activities are held in Koja North Jakarta has many tourist destinations. Some of them are Muara Angke Wildlife Park, Kampung Marunda, Bahari Museum, Kampung Luar Batang, Impian Jaya Ancol Park, and many more. Firstly, it has Impian Jaya Ancol Park. Impian Jaya Ancol Park 
is an integrated tourist area that is very complete and it is always busy with foreign and local visitors who want to have recreation. Tourist attraction and Impian Jaya Anchol Park are beaches, park, sea world, Atlantis water adventure, fantasy world or dufan, gelanggang samudra, art markets, marina, cable car, bowling, anchol anchol golf course souvenir stall and culinary tours many things that can be done in this place in addition north jakarta also has taman suaka marga satwa muara angke or muara angke wildlife park muara angke wildlife park is a mangrove forest area located in north jakarta apart from trees Tourists can also see various type of animals that live in this area, such as lizard, monkey, and various type of birds. The interesting thing here is the existence of a wooden bridge and a boat that can help visitors get around and enjoy the beautiful natural forest tourism in this area so that's all about uh, jakarta and its six administrative city with their beautiful destination enjoy your trip